welcome back so now in this video I'll show you how to just apply different themes on the Google map and we will style them first of all I'll just close the dot file from here and we will go towards the lib and create a new directory in here give the name to the directory I'll say Google map theme and right in this directory we will create a new dot file by the name Google map theme now in here we will have a stateful widget so write ST and now we will just give the name as Google map theme and we don't need this as you guys know already we'll just tell that and click upon that import the library now we will just copy that name from here and go towards the main dot dot in here we will remove that and paste the Google map theme in here brushes click upon that import the library and right from here we will remove that all good now go back towards the Google map theme dot dot in here for now there is empty container now we will just hold to load the app and there will be an empty screen as you guys can see now what I'll do I'll just open the browser so right in the browser open the Google and search for styling wizard okay just search for that in here open that first one as you guys can see Google Maps APIs okay open that here we are and down below in here click upon that okay so we are here right in the map style so from here we will just get the dark theme let's say and then we will go with the retro and lastly we will go with the silver so from here we will just download the JSON file for the specific theme and we will just add it right in the Android Studio in our project in order to get that specific theme and from here you can just adjust the density of that specific feature for example that first one wrote if you just go and of that you guys can hear the road from the map has been gone and if you go again let me just go that one you guys can see the road appear again and if I just click upon that dark one go towards the night mode that is more fine in here it will be more visible let's do it again as you guys can see now the road has been disappear now appear again so that's how you can play with it also towards the landmark as you guys can notice and lastly the labels so you can just adjust the setting from here and then you can just download the required theme and use it in your Android Studio in your project so what I'll do now I'll go with the dark one first okay that specific theme from here and then I'll go to words the finish and click upon that in here you guys can see that use JSON styling okay that JSON file I'll just copy all of it okay in order to get that specific theme dark so what I'll do I'll say copy JSON it's copied to the clipboard now I'll go towards the Android Studio back again in Android Studio and in here as you guys can see that project Google Map API right click on that create a new directory so I'll say I theme okay there we go as you guys can see right in here that specific directory so now right click again on it and we will create a JSON file in here so click upon that file and then we will give the name as dark theme json dot json okay like that 
so it's gonna create that JSON file and in here JSON file that we copied from the Google Maps styling as you guys can see right in here so like that you will add this we will close that and now what I'll do I'll go to where the Google Maps styling again and in here this time we will go with the retro so click upon that retro click finish copy that JSON as you guys can see that one okay copy that from here now go back to the Android studio right in this directory create a new file and we will say retro theme dot json now in this retro pass the code simply like that okay so it will add that now go back to the styling again we will map and this time we will go with the silver okay go down click on finish copy it it's copied go back to the android studio and here create a new file and we will say silver this time silver theme and then we say dot json and here pass the json file code so we are done with that now right after that what I'll do I'll go towards the popspec.yaml and we're gonna simply just add that in our project right in the assets right in here so down below in here we will just add the path press enter in here it's right inside the directory i theme so we'll say in here i theme as you guys can see the suggestion guys remember the spelling must be similar otherwise it will not get that it will give you the error then so make sure to make it in a proper way so in here i say i theme directory then right after we'll say slash and then we say dark underscore theme like that and then dot json make it in a proper way i theme slash dark underscore theme dot json like that now for the time saving i'll just copy that and in here past it again past it this time it will be a retro R E T R O retro underscore indoor JSON that's fine and lastly there will be the silver okay so that's how you can just add the path for the specific item so basically that's set now come here and hit that pub get it will just import it wait for it it will take a while there we go it's fine now add it take this down from here close that get the different dances first we are done with it now you can simply ignore it and we just successfully add that I theme in our project now I'll go towards the Google map theme dot file in here back again so now I'll just quickly just integrate the Google map and you guys know already how we will do that so for the time saying I'll just copy paste the code from my home screen as you guys can see the completed controller in here initial position we will just copy that copy it and go towards the Google map theme dot dot in here we will add that above the widget bill in here and click upon it accordingly just add the libraries also for the completer all fine now I'll go back to the home screen in here what I'll do I'll just go down and from here I'll just copy that safe area from here to here with the body copy it and go back towards the Google 
map theme dot dot in here we will remove that container widget and we'll have a scaffold and in there we will pass the code now for now I'll just remove that marker okay because we are about to just integrate the Google map we just want that for now come here and click upon that how to load the app and you guys will notice the Google map and we provide the initial position as I explained this in detail right in the earlier videos in the previous videos okay so there is no need of doing it again and that's how you guys can integrate the Google map so basically this video is getting a little lengthy we will end this video right here and right on the next video we will implement the code for the Google map theme and we will apply this specific I theme that we just add in our project we will just add this in our code and apply it on the Google map then right in the next video so basically that's it for this video see you in the next one